Well, good morning, friends. Um, I left Rick behind. I'm taking off to go to another campsite. It's a new life for me. Larry and his wife, they left this morning. Um, I'm down at the free dump station next to the dam, not too far away from the campsite. When I, oh gosh, I, I forget who I was talking to, but I was talking to somebody and they said they wouldn't uh, fill up their water here because there was, they said they saw a blue tint to it or green tint um, and that it smelled funny. I smelled it. I even tasted it and I didn't find anything funny about it. And this one says drinking water on it. Now I wouldn't fill up with this one over here because that one says do not drink with it. So it is what it is. Ooh, holy crap, what kind of bug is that? Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, I've filled up water all across this country from some of them looked kind of iffy, you know what I mean? But when you're traveling, you can't be super, super picky about where you get water. I, I think, you know, you should take your due diligence and, uh, and ask around and see if it's potable water, if it doesn't say it. But a lot of the times you can tell if it's got a red spigot, then it might be uh, non-potable, which, uh, which means you don't want to be drinking it or using it for uh, cooking. And if it's got a blue spigot, then usually that means, now you can't be 100%, but you got to kind of look at your surroundings. Usually that means it's potable water, drinking water. The way that I know when I'm full is when it, the water starts coming out right there <laughs> through the overflow. I know I'm full now. <laughs> oh, I almost tripped over the hose. So that's very cool beans. I'm filling up. Gonna be uh, all set to Boonda. Woo woo! You came in for more, but it's more than you can mind. And in all that's rotten, you're ready to ignite. Like in a wicked fever As you wait for a home Your cadence fails To bear steady calm Hold on to your fire Hold on to your fire Just hold on to your fire Fire. Feel the need to burn for days by gone. I know so would it be. Hello friends and welcome to the new free campsite, Byer Lake. Look at that, absolutely beautiful. I've got the generator on in the AC right now because it is just so hot and humid. This is the spot I chose. Um, one thing you might want to know about it is the ground leans down towards the lake so it's pretty unlevel um, <laughs> I used all of my wood my leveling wood here and a few rocks and actually the front end is still actually a little bit down I'm still pretty unlevel actually but I'm to the point where it's tolerable which is, you know, look at this. 
this is really nice there's actually electric hookups over there but uh you need to contact the the finance officer and they will come and unlock it for you over here I think this might be a bathroom. Yeah, this is a bathroom. Men and women. Got some bullet holes in the door, I guess. Rather clean though. Not bad. Over here we've got a little pavilion it's actually a good place to go swimming here Oh yeah, I'll definitely be going swimming in that. Not many people out here. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, South Dakota. It looks like there's some garbage disposal right there. It's not an absolutely huge, ginormous lake. Like I'm used to seeing in Minnesota, but <clears throat> this is not the land of 10,000 lakes. This is South Dakota. This is not Minnesota. So just the fact that they have free camping on a lake, it's just absolutely beautiful. I probably should have turned the camera on like 10 minutes ago because it was actually a lot more beautiful. But look at this beautiful sunset here. My goodness, Becky. The water's so still. Oh yeah. Look at this still lake. My goodness, Becky. Is this real life? So a good girl. This is beautiful. My goodness. What do you think of this, Sober? Huh? This is crazy. Oh my goodness, the air feels so awesome. Um such a peaceful campsite I don't even have to talk very loud it's just so quiet out here absolutely beautiful it was a really really hot day oh of course 
Sober, I can't believe you drank that water. Hope there's no blue algae in there. <laughs> plug in, plug out. This is just beautiful. What'd you find, Sober? So what would you find? What is that? What are you looking for? Huh? Okay. Okay. Well, good night, friends. I'll see you tomorrow.